everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we're going to be cooking in our Instant Pot. And you know I love my Instant Pot, and I'm sure that you do too. And if you're not using your Instant Pots and they're still sitting in the boxes, please get that out and let's cook some recipes together. So today I'm bringing you a new recipe. It's a new recipe to me. It is a twist on the Spanish rice. It comes from Six Sister Stuff. I will link their, their channel or their, their website down below. I'm not sure if there's an actual recipe for this one on their site, but if not, I'll link you to the video where I found this one that contained several different recipes. And I'll also list the ingredients below in the description box as to which ingredients I'm using today. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over our ingredients. I have some long green, let's see, here's, here's a long green enriched white rice. So we have two cups of white rice in our container here. We need two and a half cups of water. One can of Rotel, I'm using a, I think it's a 10 ounce, yep, a 10 ounce can of Rotel. I just have the original here. And I knew that, know that they also have like a less spicy one. So if the spice bothers you, or the heat bothers you at all, just go ahead and look for that other, the other Rotel. I have one can of black beans. I already took them out of here, so they're drained and rinsed. I have them over in my sink. We're gonna need one package of taco seasoning. Today, we're just gonna use this one here. So I'm just gonna measure out one, it says two, two teaspoons is the serving size. I think one package equals three tablespoons or something, but we're gonna use about three tablespoons today. And then the last thing that we need to do is add some salt because she said that when she made this one that she really wishes she had added some salt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, once this is done cooking, we're going to top this with some shredded cheese and I'll show you that at the end, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this into our Instant Pot and then we'll talk about cooking directions from there. So it's gonna be a quick, easy dump and go recipe. We're just gonna take our top off here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump in our water. We're gonna dump in the rice. And nope, I am not going to, I'm not gonna rinse that or anything. We're just dumping everything right in. Had to grab something to stir with. Okay, so we've got that in there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab our black beans. You can hear me scooting around behind the camera. And I just have those black beans in my little strainer here. One jar or one can of Rotel. I'm just gonna dump that right in the top. We're gonna add some salt. Now I'm just going to, let me, let me bring you over here. You've seen me just kind of dumping things in. I'm gonna actually reposition the camera here. So just bear with me one second. Okay, so you can see everything. I just kind of dumped it in. I am just going to smooth out the ingredients and get them under the water. I'm not gonna stir that because I don't want those tomatoes sitting in the bottom of my, my Instant Pot. And then I'm going to add in maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon, yeah, about a teaspoon or a little bit more. Salt it to taste, I love salt, so don't, don't take my advice on the salt. Um, about a teaspoon of salt, I'd say, just to be safe. And then I have my taco seasoning here. We're going to add in three tablespoons of that. I could have pre-measured that, but what fun would that be, right? One, two, we're just doing a rough three tablespoons. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of swish that in here on the top. And then we're going to put our lid on. We're gonna put this on high pressure for seven minutes. I'm gonna back you back up so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we have two different, two different ways to have this. We can have this on venting or we can flip it back and have it on sealing. Each Instant Pot is different, so please make sure that you check your manufacturer's instruction manual, is that what it's called? Anyway, check your manuals. So I'm just gonna bring you back over here really quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit manual. We're gonna bring this down to seven minutes. Sorry, it's a little shaky. I should have put you back on the tripod, but we're gonna try to get this done really quick. We're gonna stop at seven. We're gonna give that a second. It's going to beep and let us know that it's accepted our commands. And then just gonna go ahead and let this cook. 
Once this is done cooking, we're going to do a quick release on it. I'll come back and show you that when that happens, but this is going to come to pressure. Once that comes to pressure, then it's going to start counting down, and then you all come back and show you what's next. All right, our Instant Pot has finished cooking, and the timer went off. It's been one minute since the timer went off, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and release the pressure. I'm just going to move you just a bit if I can do it smoothly. You can hear our puppy eating in the background because I guess it's time to have a snack. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this knob here. Okay, so that little pin just dropped, which means it's safe to go ahead and open up our Instant Pot. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see what's going on inside. It looks and smells delicious. And you're just gonna go ahead and give that a stir. I'm trying to do this without getting in your way. And you're just gonna go ahead and stir up all those ingredients and you have perfectly cooked rice, ready to go for dinner. And I went ahead and made the entire batch, even though there's two of us, because I thought this would be a really good lunch for this week. So uh, I'm really excited to be able to eat this for lunch. So hopefully you can get a good look at that without all that steam. I'll try to get you in here a little bit more, but that's what our rice looks like that helps that might help a little bit so there's our rice it like I said smells delicious so once I get my plate made I have fajitas both chicken and steak fajitas going over on the stove once I get my plate made I'll take a little snapshot of my plate I'm just going to top this with a little bit of cheese I'll probably use fat-free cheese but that's okay but this is going to be our side dish and my lunches for the week so I hope that you give this one a try. I um, I can taste it really quick for you. Hold on. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious. Let's see if I can get it to cool off really quick. And it is good. That is really good. I've been trying to find a Spanish rice that I could use as a side dish, and every time I've tried one, I've tried using the salsa, and every time I've tried using the salsa, all I taste is salsa. It just tastes like salsa over rice. This one, I think the mixture between the Rotel and the taco seasoning did it. I mean, yum. Okay, this one is going to be a keeper in my book. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to my recipe binder. And with that said, I'm going to sign off from here today. Give me a thumbs up. If you like um, Instant Pot recipes or if you like today's recipe, leave me some comments below and we will see you next video.